I've got three really great and effective thoracic spine exercises for your back, your chest, your shoulders, and your neck to feel better. This is a short mini practice and let's get right into it. But first, if you do love these yoga tutorials and lessons, don't forget to press that subscribe button because then you get to get them every week, every time we put a new video in, it's yours. You get notified right away. Uh, so now let's begin this class. The first thing that we want to really do here when it comes to our thoracic spine is just to become more aware of it. Now your thoracic spine is the part of your spine that's about here, right? It's, we can call it the upper back because if your thoracic spine is not getting all the movement it wants, that means your chest, your shoulders, and your neck are probably not gonna feel that great either. So let's move them, let's have them feel good. Now the first thing we're gonna do is just to do a very simple twist and take what you know, I'm sitting here comfortably cross-legged, I hope you are as well. And you're gonna take one hand to one leg and then twist and then twist to the other side. And then we're gonna do that again, twist and then twist to the other side, great. Now let's refine that because most of that twist was coming from the waist area and we want to move that twist up into the thoracic spine. So now this twist is going to get a lot smaller than what we just did, which is good because that means we're isolating that movement. So think about moving less about here. In fact, I like to have one hand right here to remind me to stay fairly still and then my other hand over my chest and then I'm going to try to keep this part of my body right here mid belly low ribs fairly still and try to feel like my upper back is twisting over to one side. Now you might notice that you can actually bring your head all the way over and it's going to give you the feeling that you've twisted quite a bit but that's that's not what you actually did. Your head was the one that moved and not your thoracic spine. So let's think about letting the head just follow the chest. And then let's go the other direction. All right. So think about your chest rotating over to the other side, trying to keep the lower body fairly still. There might be a little bit of movement, but that's fine. Let your head follow the chest. And let's go one more time to the other side. Good. So again, you're going to notice that this you're not moving quite as far, but we're moving where we want to move, which is between those shoulder blades. And let's add on to that. So you're, you're free. If I'm twisting to the left, that means my right arm is going to move and reach. And I'm going to feel that pull of my right arm from behind. Feel like you're moving your right shoulder blade and the space between your spine and the right shoulder blade around a little more and then reach your arm up. Good. And then sweep it. I like to even do a little big sweep in front. Sweep, rotate from the upper back, up. And let's do that one more time out to the side arm. Sweep in front of you, rotate upper back, and then release to the other side. Initiate the movement first with your upper spine, chest moving. And then when you've got that, bring your free arm. This will be my left arm if I'm turning right reaching, reaching, feeling that movement from between the shoulder blades, especially between that right or my left shoulder blade, wrapping and then up over out to the side and sweep in front of you. Twist up arm out to the side and then sweep in front. One more time up out to the side and a big sweep. Good. Lovely. Take a moment and tune in. Notice how your shoulders feel. Notice how your upper back feels just by doing that. But let's keep moving. Let's go onto our hands and our knees. And then from the hands and knees here, our second little movement is the rhomboid push-up. And it's really nice because it's not necessarily completely addressing your upper spine, but it's all it's really getting into the musculature and mobility of the muscles between your shoulder blades. So how we do that is just bringing the shoulder blades together and then press your hands into the floor and feel your shoulder blades move apart. Let your shoulder blades relax together and then press the hands of floor into the floor away from the floor. Good, shoulder blades wide and then together. And so just keep doing that movement. And then while you're doing that movement, notice your arms and try to keep your arms like strong pillars of support. The arms don't bend. 
Elbows don't bend. All of the movement is in your shoulder blades. Good. A few more times. And then release. Good. And then let's move into a lunge and bring one foot forward, bringing yourself down into this lunge. And this lunge is more about still working on your upper back. So what I'm going to do here is just let my forearm rest onto my thigh, rest onto my knee. And then I'm going to bring my free arm. So that would be my left arm here forward. Very much what we just did in that twist, right? When we were sitting down, we were reaching the arm, but not just the arm, but feel like you're reaching from behind that shoulder blade. Reach and then let it relax. Do a little swing. And this is actually kind of a nice little movement if you just let your arm be heavy and a little bit of a swing. Feeling tension melting from your shoulder. And then come up a little bit more and then reach that arm forward, reach, 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 reach. And then we're going to add some movement just like we did in our twist. Inhale, bring your arm up, rotate it back around and then sweep through. Inhale, arm up, around, and then big sweep. And then across your body, I've got this wall in the way a little bit, so I'm gonna move as you keep sweeping your arm. Up, around, good, across your body to the other side, and then over your head and around. Good. So this is getting all parts of your upper back, chest and shoulders moving, getting more circulation flowing. So this is wonderful if you've been at a desk all day. Let's do one more big circle. And then release and switch. Now you've got your other leg in front of you. Rest your elbow down onto the thigh. And then reach your arm forward and get that movement again. You're reaching through from between your shoulder blades. That right shoulder blade reaches, reaches, and then let your arm drop and do that heavy dangle. So give it a little wiggle. Let that shoulder relax. Hmm. No effort to hold that arm up. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And then inhale, reach your arm up again. And then over your head, behind you, and then through across to the other side. Reach across the midline as far as you can from your upper back. And then over, and then around. Reach over and around. Nice slow controlled movements. The whole time you do this though, keeping your mind between the shoulder blades, really feel like most of the twist is coming from there. Let's go one more big circle. And then release. Now let's go on to, a, or back into a seated position because that's it. That's our little mini class. But first, let's check in to see how the shoulders, how your back and neck all feel, even just after a couple minutes of simple movements like that. So you can sit cross-legged. You can let your arms relax by your side, in your lap, on your legs. It's your choice. Now start to tune in. Notice how your shoulders feel. Notice how your back feels. Okay, let's all take a big, deep breath in. Big deep breath out. <sighs> Wonderful. So this is really great because it's short and sweet, but it also shows you that you don't need to spend hours doing yoga or hours at the gym. That in fact, if you do little bits of movement more often, if you did one of these exercises more often, if you did all this little sequence at least once or twice a day, you'll notice a big difference in your thoracic spine and your chest and your shoulders. So there you go. And if you love this approach and this really mindful movement and refined way of moving through a yoga practice, you're welcome to join the Heart and Bones online yoga studio. We have so many beautiful classes for you that are ranging from five minutes to over an hour and all about these kind, loving movements. So love to see you inside the studio and see you for the next 
lesson. I'm Bree Johnson, Heart and Bones Yoga. I'm so happy to have had you here with me.